And now Frank and Julia Lee will prepare some great abalone dishes. Hello, uh, my name is Frank Lee. I'm going to show you how to cook abalone in different ways. Generally, there are two ways to cook abalone. The fast way and the slow way, or you call fast cooking or slow cooking. Uh, before I go on, I'd like to show you how to clean abalone. This abalone, there's a thinner side and a thicker side. To, it's easier to remove this abalone from the thinner side. So like this. You can see this is the clean meat with the uh, inside that you're going to remove. A little bit here you remove. And a piece of meat like this. Okay. Now I have just cleaned the uh, abalone. I'm going to show you how to slice in, in thin slices. For some dishes, you need to slice it in, in thin slices, like stir fry or a hot pot. And you need to cook these slices very quickly. These are the ingredients for the marinade. Uh, this is soy sauce. This is a Chinese uh, wine, uh, sesame oil, pepper, oyster sauce, and corn flour. Now I'm going to put some soy sauce. Some wine. Some sesame oil. A little bit of oyster sauce. and some pepper. I put a little bit of corn flour. And this will be left for about half an hour. This is for basically for stir fry dishes. Now I want to marinate this with the same marinade for steaming later. I want to show you how to do the uh, slow cook traditional uh, bologna first. Uh, it will take a bit longer than the other one. It takes about over an hour to, to cook using the pressure cooker. Uh, I need to make up a, a stock about that much water and I add about the same amount of stock, chicken stock. I want to put a bit of pepper, a bit of oyster sauce, a little bit of soy sauce, a bit of wine, A bit of ginger, ginger garlic. And then I put in four abalone. This will take about an hour and a quarter. And normally, you haven't got a pressure cooker, it will take a lot longer, maybe up to four hours. Uh, I'll show you how to test whether the abalone is just cooked later.
I'm going to steam this up only. One with shell, the other without shell. I'll put the, the, the three together at the same time, but I'll remove this maybe a, a minute earlier because this, this will take a, a lot less time, uh, a minute less time. And I, I need to put a bit of ginger, spring onion, garlic, It will take about four minutes for the shell and five minutes for the uh, with the shell. Now I'm going to remove this without shell one and leave this shell one for another extra minute. It's done now. Now I'm going to approach the abalone using a steamboat uh, method and I've got the chicken stock that I can put into this steamboat. Now I'm going to put a few pieces in at any one time and it should not take more than 10 seconds. This is a sauce used for the ablongi. The sauce is uh, soy sauce with brandy. And you dip this in and you eat it. Mmm, this is good. Uh, we can make use of the, the broth by putting some other things in. And this time I use plum, uh, the prawn dumpling. You can make uh, soup with pond dumpling. Now I'm going to do the apple root lonely in a seafood sauce uh, because you cannot cook the apple only too long. So the one way of doing this is to start off with some sauce and bring this to boiling. Now when the sauce starts boiling, you put the apple only in just for one minute and no more because you don't want to overcook the abalone, it can get very tough. Now this slow cook abalone has been cooking for an hour and a quarter. It's ready to be served. This is a traditional slow cook abalone. If you haven't got a pressure cooker, you can use a saucepan to cook it. But you might need to take a lot longer. Uh, with a bologna of this size, you might need to take up to about four hours. Uh, other ways of uh, testing whether the abalone is cooked or ready or not is by using a chopstick. I normally use, uh, put it through and it should come get through very easily. And that tells you whether the abalone is cooked or ready.